All right, before we get into this video, I just wanted to let you know that I made this entire video for my second channel for Victory Style 2. Unfortunately, before I uploaded it, I realized that I don't have the rights to the music. I only have the rights for this music on my primary channel, so that's why you're seeing it here. Let me know if you like these kind of videos, because I'm planning on putting more videos like the one you're about to see on the second channel once I get the music figured out. All right, let's get into it. Good morning. It is a Thursday. It's about 540. It's a beautiful day here in the state of Wisconsin. I'm going to give you guys a diet update today. We're almost to the 4th of July. I've been working hard. I'm, uh, I'm almost there. I think I'm I think I have a chance to make it. So I'm going to keep working uh, the next few days and see what we can do. We're going to talk more about that later, but I'm going to take you guys along for the day. Uh, this second channel over the last couple weeks has gained quite a few subscribers. A lot of people have been watching the videos, surprisingly. Uh, so I figured I'd make one kind of of our day uh, just for this channel. We're not doing any concrete work today. We're going back to a job that we poured, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. It's the fire pit patio, the really nice job. He wanted us to come back and backfill around that area, put topsoil, seed it, and really finish it off for him. We're gonna also we're also gonna put some sand in a, I don't know, it's some horse area, and he wants about six inches of torpedo sand because something with the hoofs of the horses. I don't know anything about horses. All right, let's get over to the coffee shop. trip morning Scott <laughs> how's the coffee business oh we're full you're good what'd you say the machine's not working right the good news is tomorrow's Friday yeah. And Monday is the 4th of July, which is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every morning, house blend with cream from Quick Trip. My yogurt, parfait, and Diet Dr. Pepper, which I'm addicted to, which is poison. You know this is poison, Dr. Pepper, diet? No. Nope. It is. That's what they say. Good thing concrete work is easy. Oh, oh, oh there he is. <laughs> another concrete man. Yes, sir. I see your channel, by the way. Yeah, you guys, you guys do great work, man. I would, yeah, thank you. Tony Lalicata. I've known him for a long time. I even knew his dad way, way back in the day. They've been in business for a very long time, yeah. They do, they do very nice work, too. We got a bunch of good contractors here in Wisconsin. Huh? Television. You're on television? You famous? You never told me that. You are famous. You are. All right. Have a good day. See ya. See ya, Missy. I love Quick Trip. I love the people in there. It's one of the best part of my mornings is interacting with the people at the gas station. I know that sounds funny, but I love putting a smile on people's faces, just being friendly with people. Uh, they put a smile on my face too. I love seeing the same people every day, saying the same thing. Uh, you know, they become almost like friends after a while. It's part of my everyday routine. I even go there on the weekends when I'm not headed to the yard. I go there on Saturdays. I don't go there on Sundays until the afternoon, but yeah, it's just part of my life. All right, I am pulling into the yard. It is 616. I doubt anybody's gonna be here right now, which is just fine. Not a big rush today. We're not pouring any concrete. I don't have anything ordered. We have to meet a timeline or anything, so 
Today's gonna be a pretty relaxed day. Ryan's here. Ryan Jr.'s here. He's pretty early, that's good. So my son Ryan Jr., he's traveling this summer. Nice. How much garbage did you make? I made a lot yesterday. Not bad. So what are you doing this summer? How come you don't work for me full time? Uh, I got sick of concrete. <laughs> yeah, right. No, for real. Oh. Every week you go to a different city somewhere in the country. No, then we go to a different host church that uh, we do a teen hour each there. So we recruit them two days and then we have the teen outreach event um, three nights. So that's all our weekdays. So you guys do activities, mm -hmm. fun competitions. games, competitions, yeah. and then then what? Bible preaching? Yeah. Bible preaching and ministering to the, to the young people. So yeah. that's what Ryan's doing this summer. If anybody's wondering why he doesn't work for me full time, it's not because he hates me or we have a bad relationship. Some people jump to the craziest conclusions, I'll tell you what. Uh, but he's traveling. That's what he's planning on doing in the future um, for a career. So he's going to school for that. He's going to a Bible college and uh, he wants to become a full-time evangelist. Uh, right now, as of right now, he plans on traveling to Mexico and ministering to the youth of Mexico. That could change, of course, but he's headed in that direction. So. All right, Eric's trailer is still in my yard. For the record, I told Eric, he has until the 4th of July to get it out of here. He's been storing it here for a while, but we really need the parking space. Uh, everything is just totally crammed. And then when the guys park here, we have no room. The cars protrude into the parking lot, and I really need my space back. I also told Mr. Bobby, this thing's got to go by the 4th of July. So Daryl's working on it. He's going to get it going, and he's got a place to park it, I guess. I just need my space back. For the record, Francisco's here! Man, look at you. How, Morning, yo. How handsome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. All right. I got to open the shed. We got to get some uh, seed. And I think I have some of that mulch in there, the pen mulch. Yeah. Yeah. Eric's here. So yesterday, and you guys won't see the video for like a week, we had some guests show up from Indiana. He emailed me, we went back and forth. They wanted to come and, and pour some concrete with us. So they came and helped us on a driveway. They were a big help. Two really good guys, uh, Carl and Darren. But it's interesting, people people have in their mind that, you know, the, the things that I show on camera are different than what's actually happening. And it's kind of nice when guys come because they can see with their own eyes that I mean, we don't act. There's no drama like made up. This is just who we are. You know, I'm just a contractor and just showing what our days are like. It just happens that I have a weird crew. And uh, I don't know. It's more interesting, I guess, than some people's. They keep taking more blocks down every day. Look. So this area here, this is our neighbor's lot and it was just recently purchased and they're putting fencing up all the way around it with barbed wire. Uh, the city's letting them put barbed wire because they're, they're going to be a tow lot. I guess repossessions and abandonments and stuff like that. So they're going to park cars in here but they're taking all our blocks down and uh, they're going to put up a fence. Go on the boat today and then work tomorrow because it's going to be 70 tomorrow. We're going to work today and work tomorrow. How's that sound? <laughs> I, I crashed my Mustang already. Oh, I did. Oh, yep. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Right here. Oh, the little dent. With what? Right here, Daryl. Look at this. What did it happen? Right in the crease. That's major. So remember when you drove through the parking brake? Uh-huh. 
So park brake doesn't work very good anymore. Parked it in my driveway. My driveway goes on a slope. Mm -hmm. So I'm up, in, I'm up in the bedroom and my wife goes, what's going on with your car? She looks out the window. I was like, what do you mean? I look out the window, the car rolled down the driveway and hit the, and hit the support oh. cable for the telephone pole. And the thing went like this, go, it stopped right there. That steel cable dented my car. Luckily you didn't hit nothing else. Oh, if it didn't hit the cable, it would hit the pole. And if the steering wheel was just a little bit more, it would have went right across the street, right down into the neighbor's ditch. Come here and grab this grass seed and the mulch. That big grass seed? Grab that first. Don't be scared of the mice, Daryl. Where are we putting this? Oh, hey, 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 hey. oh Daryl! That's okay, it's only like $20 worth of grassy. No biggie. Thank you, Daryl. Oh, stop! Stop, Daryl! Hey, Daryl. Hey, don't worry, that's just like another $20 of grassy. Get a five gallon pail and, and put the majority of it in the pail. Yeah, yeah, grab that top bag of mulch and then in the very, there goes the mouse. Did you see it? Yeah. He lives in here. I, I've tried to set mouse traps. He eats the peanut butter. And he survives. Like he knows how to get it. That's for the mouse traps again. I'll we just there. saw the mouse there. Yeah, the mouse just ran across you, the floor. You should go get that no, right in there. Okay. Right he ran right under the stamps. Yeah. So we need those stamps right now. Yep. Yes. He's genuinely like that. Like all in all the years, anytime we see a chipmunk on the job, he cries like a little girl and runs for it. <laughs> he really is scared. I, I've never seen a grown man that scared of he mice said and that chipmunks. Thing's huge. It's like this big. <laughs> it's huge. It's like two inches long. <laughs> that yogurt is so good. And the good thing is, I never get sick of it. Never. I've been eating that for years. Yes. Yes, sir, we need that. So the problem is today we need gravel, topsoil, and sand. Three different trips. Gravel will be first. Man, honestly, we need like two tons. Just get five, just get five tons. All we got to do is backfill that wall. Oh, okay. Uh, I love 4th of July weekend. Christmas is obviously my favorite holiday and I don't really put them in the same category like a religious holiday like Christmas and Easter and the 4th of July but 4th of July is awesome it's just about halfway through our season and I kind of reorganize get ready for the second half and I you know I just I'm a patriotic person I love this country we usually go to the parades at least one of the parades here in Wauwatosa Wisconsin they have a big parade Menominee Falls and I just really enjoy it I really enjoy this time of year I got vacation coming up in August I'm looking forward to that we got the 200,000 subscriber celebration coming up soon because <laughs> we're not gonna celebrate like that Eric <laughs> <laughs> Eric wants to have a rave party. <laughs> Hold it! I promise you, every time I see Daryl in the machine, my heart rate goes up by double. Every time. That's good. You're gonna stop at the gas get uh, ice and uh, water. I know you guys stop at the gas station. Every time I go to the job, it takes you a half an hour to get there. <laughs> and then he's like, Francisco is in the bathroom. The Every the time. He's the one that poops. Yeah, okay. I think we should just start at like seven. No. Then you guys can be at the gas station at 6:30. Do <laughs> do all your business and then come here, yeah. so I don't have to pay you on the clock to do your business. Is that fair? 
Wow. You can't just drive the match. I can't believe I dented it already. I I'm so when I was going to bed at night, that's the you only the only it. picture I had in my head is this little <laughs> this little dent. I couldn't sleep at all. Up. Daryl, get off the train tracks. He parks on the train tracks. <laughs> <sighs> you can't make it up. Right in the center of the train tracks. Who would stop there besides Daryl? No, I'm serious. Do you think anybody else would do that in the whole world? <laughs> I don't think so. That would have been the ultimate for the destroyer though. A train crushing my truck and trailer into smithereens. And then he would have been like, ho ho ho, it's not that bad. All right, we're stopping for fuel at the gas station. Gas prices went down, we're down to 4.79.9. So gas is pretty cheap now. Isn't it kind of early for that? It's not even seven in the morning yet. How's it going? This looks safe. I don't think anything bad could happen. All right, just pump nine. Pump nine? Yep. All right, we just pulled up on the job. Show you what we got going on. All right, if you pay attention to the other channel, you've already seen this job, but you have not seen it finished. It's still not, actually it looks like they're completely done. Yeah, it's done. They did have enough stone. The Masons didn't think they'd have enough stone. But anyways, uh, if you watch the other channel, you saw us pour this. You didn't see us seal it. I have another video uh, coming out on the regular channel, the main channel that shows us sealing it. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna walk all the way around this thing. All they gotta do is put the caps on the pillars, but other than that, it is 100% complete. Masons put up the walls and pillars. Pretty proud of this job. It's pretty cool. Stamped concrete is a little bit dirty right now because the masons were working up there. But it'll clean right back up. Well, there it is. It's pretty awesome. I'm really really happy with it and um, the client call him a client but he's also my friend uh, he just absolutely loves it today what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish it off we're gonna go ahead and backfill all the way around it we're gonna seed it and put some mulch down and get that growing for him he wants to have a uh, big barbecue uh, in the fall here he wants all the grass growing in he wants it 100% complete so we're gonna work on that and then somewhere out in the horse pasture, I don't even know where it is, it's way out there somewhere. He wants a whole bunch of uh, sand for his horses. You like it, Eric? Uh, it. It's nice, eh? It nice. You like it? Yeah. That's it? Yeah? Uh, I'm gonna show you a view from up top too, what it looks like from the top of the deck. It really just finishes off this whole area this whole area, all this stamped concrete I did several years ago now. This was a really, really huge project. Did all the sidewalks all the way around the whole house. I'm not going to walk all the way up there, all these steps. 
and it goes all the way around the house i did a whole another area of stamped concrete the same uh, down there by that other building but i'm going to show you what it looks like from up top this is from the top deck francisco what do you think it's beautiful yeah so there it is from up top I love it. I think this is my favorite from all. Not everybody has stuff like this. Hey, look at this. Cool. All your grill, cooking area, refrigerator. Got your couch. Big screen over here. And you got your step down here. And then over here, you got your hot tub. Man, <laughs> yes, I love this place. It is just an absolutely gorgeous morning here in Wisconsin. It's gonna be hot today, it's gonna be in the 90s, but right now it's maybe low 70s and it is beautiful. It's a little breezy, but I can definitely live with that. So we're waiting for Daryl right now. He's bringing the gravel. We're gonna backfill uh, most all the way up with gravel and then put maybe six inches of topsoil on top of that. I just don't wanna fill that whole trench with topsoil. And have it sink down and settle on them let's take a walk down here i don't even know where the i don't even know where the area is <laughs> he just told you let's go yeah he's like there's a big area that <laughs> needs six <laughs> inches of sand <laughs> like, Who's your oh it's probably right there oh, yeah. that area right there <laughs> that's how we walk <laughs> over there <laughs> look at the one on the right how it has to walk I it's know. so fat it like has to brace itself look as it junior. walks <laughs> no i'm what? serious you see that? Yeah, I see it. He has to brace himself. He's like this. Yeah, I know. Look at his face, though. Oh wow. <laughs> Just don't let the horse out, or Frank will be really mad. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I wish I would have known this. Yeah, he wants, he said six inches of sand in here. And what about the poop? This is huge. Well, you got to clean the poop, Eric. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. You have to. And hey, look at all that poop. Oh, you got... <laughs> oh. oh no, look at this one. Man. We got to pick it up. Today. <laughs> he wants six inches in here. Six inches? Yeah, at least two quad axles. This stuff's all got to get moved because I'm going to come right through here with the bobcat and oh. dump it. You guys put everything right in the way. Sorry. So once we finish this, I'm just going to leave you and Ryan here, I guess. For the rest of the day, you can work on that. I don't know what else to do. That's going to take forever. I mean, look how long of a drive it is. All right, I brought some gravel up here. We're just gonna fill this in partially so it's not so deep of topsoil so it doesn't settle. Let me just dump it in there. enough now all right Daryl's gonna take that truck now and go get some topsoil we'll finish that off around there 
and then I'm gonna have Daryl and Ryan Jr. work on the sand and uh, whatever, the horse stalls, I guess you call them. I think she just cleaned all the poop out of there, so I don't think we have to clean any poop, which is nice. Three yards. All right, Daryl's back with the topsoil. I finally got my sweeper in the paddle sweeper I ordered this thing last November and it finally came in You can put all the sand and then when it comes time to like do that spot she wants you to dump the water out put sand under it and then put the water bucket back down and then tell this guy he's got to refill it because the horses get super thirsty when it's hot they drink all the time i guess why do we have to empty it out so you can move it it's super full it's heavy yeah, but if, we have a if you tip it there, then we can just go oh yeah you break it in half and then yeah, i gotta buy a manure right. no just tip it over why do you gotta why do you gotta question everything I say? Everything I say. Why don't we do it this way? Why don't we do it this way? Why don't you ever say, okay, dad? Just ask me why don't Just we say, do okay, it? dad. Man. Wait till your kids get older. You tell them to do something, they'll be like, no, we should do it this way. We should do it. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. What else do you guys need for the sand? Obviously keep that out. There's two long pins up there. You guys didn't grab the pin. I don't know why you left them up there. <laughs> You're like Ray Mysterio. You need one of those masks. You should buy one. That would be so funny. For Halloween? Yeah, you could be Ray Mysterio. I used to put it. I thought it would Who you be? Uh... There's another guy that looks like Remy Stereo, uh, Sin Cara. Oh yeah, you can you can be that guy. Yeah. Uh, me, I'm obviously Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> the Undertaker. Oh, the Undertaker is Daryl. Yeah. Daryl's the Undertaker. The <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then Junior, the Big Show. <laughs> all right, we're all done with the topsoil seed and the pen mulch. Everything turned out good. So now all they have to do is water, 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 water. It's the beginning of July, and it's really tough to get grass seed to grow this time of year. You can do it, I've done it before, but you have to be on it with the water constantly and continually. It's gotta remain moist at all times or it'll dry and burn out and you'll get nothing but weeds. So the plan now for today 
is I'm going to send Eric and Francisco to my house to mow my lawn and clean up. I'm gonna leave Ryan Jr. and Daryl here to put all the sand in the horse stalls. All right, go to my house. You got gas in the container? Not a bullet, not a lot. Okay. Oh, you know what? The mower's full right now anyway. You got a two stroke for the trimmer? So they want like five, six inches of sand and kind of smooth it out nice like we grade a driveway. Don't have a big pile here and like two inches there, you know, make it nice and consistent. And then do that with the water bucket like I told you. The judge would have shredded Hutchinson on the stand. And I think everyone on this committee knows that. Bill, thank you so very much. All right, I'm just pulling up to my house. Francisco's running the weed whacker. Eric's riding the mower, cutting some super crooked stripes, I see, as usual. Hi. Grace. Grace is mowing too. Hello. Are you, are you helping Eric? Yeah, that's Eric. Are you helping him? You got your mower. How do you do it? Show me. Show me how you do it. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Wow, you guys are really victory style today. Yeah. Wow. Really cool. You can see Eric's stripes are very very straight some of the straightest i've ever seen look at that it's like an arrow look at that That's why I don't let air cut the joints. That's exactly why. Why are your stripes so so crooked? Man. You messed me up with the tree, man. Oh, the tree messed yeah, you up? Yeah, I'm trying to go. On. See, that's why I don't let you cut the joints. Because I already <laughs> know they look just like that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. We'll go check up on Daryl and Ryan Jr. and see how they're doing right now. I got a swimming pool right here. The horses are way over there now. They're way out there in the field. But that was cool when they were in here. So right now we are just putting sand so the horses have a nice place to run around and they don't hurt their hoofs. I don't think I could fit in here with the skidster. I might be able to. I think it's a tight fit. I don't think I'll try. I'd probably rip the fence. Can we just leave this till tomorrow? Huh? Could we leave this till tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow would be a... Let's call Junior and ask his advice. Maybe we should leave this till tomorrow. That would be a good idea.
Joanna, you don't even have a tire on there. I know, but I think I, I, think I still Oh, Daniel has to fix it. But I still think I do better on there. Who's this? Who's it that way? Hello. Are you having fun? What are you I don't doing? I want to be in the video. <laughs> I'm doing, doing this. Doing some editing? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Dan, are you going to go swimming? Yes. Wow. That water is going to be really cold. No, no later. Man, those little pools bring back memories. I don't know if they bring back memories for you, but we used to have little pools like that when we were just little, little kids. And then we'd have slip and slide. Remember the slip and slide? That was so fun. Eric's putting the mower away. It's not how you do it, Eric. You wiggle back and forth. Oh, really? Yeah, you go like this. You just gotta wiggle. These are my only bird boots. Those are good. Yeah, you gotta wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Huh? Yeah. When you get back to the yard, clean out, clean out the trucks, clean out the white truck, get all the concrete out of the bed, throw it all in the, all those bags of concrete, throw them all in the garbage. They're all hard. Throw the pallet away, get that all cleaned out. Very nice. Next time you gotta wear safety glasses though. The safety glasses are right here. Daniel just takes their blowing. Okay. Make sure that truck's clean too. And the white truck, get it all clean. Use the blower, blow the bed out. Everything really good. Just call me when you're done, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right, call me when you're done cleaning everything. All right. All right, well, it is the 4th of July weekend. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I have a lot of work to do, uh, but what I'd like to do is get all caught up on everything so we can start the second half of the season strong and organized. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.